Good evening, Satyendra. Thank you for making our time to come and meet us here at VMware. Satyendra, we all know um, Wipro is an organization which has adopted SaaS and cloud first, and on top of that, embedded security as part of your digital transformation journey. That's a very interesting story. What does this mean for you as Wipro and as for your clients? Uh, our customers are now a lot more global. Our customers are very agile and our customers are now looking at security as their uh, foundation and bedrock in terms of any business that they want to do with us. To keep up with all our customer uh, aspirations as well as customer outcomes and expectations, all the three things, whether it's a SaaS first model for agility and, and uh, speed, as well as for um, flexibility, uh, security, making sure that we have all the regulations covered, as well as it is the right thing to do by our customers. Nice. You also are one of the movers, uh, early movers um, in the cloud in India. Um, as I understand, more than 90% of your workloads are on cloud. Could you share about uh, how do you manage, uh, today you manage all four or five hyperscalers as uh, your destination for workloads. So how you manage this complexity? To be fair with you, we did not envisage that we were going to go on to a sprawl of different cloud providers initially. But as we realized that our customers had bespoke needs and different uh, you know, necessities, we had to move on to different hyperscalers. Now that said, in the initial stages, we were very scattered and we had different management platforms to manage that. And we're very happy that now we've implemented a VMware multi-cloud strategy for us, which is our sort of single platform upon which all our multi-clouds across all hyperscalers are managed through one console, one screen, makes our life a lot more easier. So Satwinder, on your journey to cloud, which is like five, six years long journey. If I can ask you, what are the top two top priorities, KPIs you always watch for while you are on this transition? The saying goes that as long as you know it is somebody else's credit card, it's very easy to use it. So I think at the top of my list is cost and security, both the cloud security and cloud cost both can spiral very quickly out of control if we do not have solid processes to manage them. So on your digital transformation journey, you will always get to a point where you have a business pressure to modernize an app. On the other side, you have a pressure from CFO to ensure the costs are controlled. How do you balance both these levers and yet deliver digital transformation to the organization? It's a difficult uh, road, tight walk, to be, to be fair to the situation. But we are on a continuous evaluation journey. So for us, it's going to be the agility of the application that is going to be one of the criteria that we look at as to what agility we can provide. And second, at the same time, we want to make sure that as much workflows, we can move on to the uh, to the SaaS model to reduce cost in terms of having bespoke infrastructure, moving that onto SaaS or, or onto any of the cloud hyperscalers to reduce cost with a low code, no code development so that the long term you know, return on investment that we have on our applications is as rational and very much in control. I get this. This is a journey and you evolve uh, over the period of time based right. on how priorities are defined. Thank you very much for the great insights you have given to us today about how Wipro is on its journey to digital transformation. Thank you, Prashant, and I think it's going to be great and exciting times for both our companies. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.